We apologize to our customers that we no longer have dressing rooms. They were being used as restrooms and were a public health concern. I don't, I don't want to know why this needed to be made, but gross. A special thank you to my patrons NQS and McPuffin and to YouTube member Holly Miller for supporting the channel and supporting my content. Thank you. How's it going everybody and welcome back to another subreddit video. Today we are taking another look at r slash trashy but before we begin I'm going to be one of those youtubers that brings up my analytics. So my not subscribed of all the people that watching this are 61% which means that 61% of you watching this are not subscribed. So if you enjoy this video please consider subscribing. 61% is actually a pretty good number I'm not gonna lie a lot of the people I see are like oh Oh, it's 97%. The next point, <laughs> you know, the next point I wanted to make is that my female to male ratio has gotten considerably worse. It started off at an almost 50-50 split and now females make up only 25% of all of my views. So if you are a woman watching this, please come back. I miss you. What an intro. Let's just get into it. <laughs> I really hate being out of SIGs. Come on, child support. I know the feeling. It sucks. Not my problem, but that money should be for just that. Supporting a child, not bad habits. Oh. <laughs> I, I mean, have smoking around children's bad enough, but is it any surprise that you're divorced when your child support that the person you're divorced from is being used to buy cigarettes. <laughs> Just attempted to set my ex's house on fire, but the big bush in his front yard only caught fire and I ended up running away like a pussy. Lomeo, eventful night. So you tried to commit arson? <laughs> It's not a crime since the fire didn't spread though. <laughs> That's not how that works. But you went in with the intent of intention of his whole house going up in flames. That's a crime. And you still ruined part of the property if a bush caught fire. The police will get involved. Really shouldn't have posted this on Facebook. <laughs> oh man. It's not a crime if it if I failed, right? <laughs> no. This one, I don't inherently have a problem with the outfit, you know? She likes KFC, fine. Wear a KFC hoodie and trousers, you know? I don't have a problem with that. Now, what I do have a problem with that is her and her mum slash sister slash, I don't know, they're both barefoot. And like, that's not cool. Going to public places to eat or shop or do anything barefoot it's just it's just not that it's just kind of gross you just don't want to be doing that it's just not very considerate of the people around you now is it just had a speed run quickie with alex bulldog finished in 60 seconds because my lips are erstable <laughs> they suck doggy batter out like a vacuum cleaner so proud of him Oh, I'm gonna censor that and you are all gonna thank me for it. I should not have eaten before making this video. Whoo, moving on. <laughs> Two years ago today, I killed a fetus. I'm all for pro-choice. I think that you can't argue that you are a, a country of freedom if you are not pro-choice because then you're removing that freedom from someone. However, it is very weird to be celebrating making that choice two years on. That's just a really weird thing to be doing. Just move on with your life. Celebrating that is probably not healthy in any, in any way. You or or anybody just just don't be doing that that's just weird it's just weird now this one bothers me because like i'm assuming they can't get kicked out because technically they are wearing masks but like guys masks don't work if you're not covering your face with them it's so dumb it's so dumb just wear it while you're in the shop in the uk you only have to wear them while in shops once you're out you can take it off again that's like five or ten minutes you have to wear it for it's really not hard boner garage and i'm sure much like most other garages it's full of cobwebs and rusty tools and no one ever actually parks their car in it because it's more effort than it's worth <laughs> what's that too much <laughs> yesterday i went to mcdonald's and heard a little kid screaming mom hurry up there's only four happy meals left 
I was the next in line, so I told the cashier, Can I have four Happy Meals, please? I saw how his face shifted from smiling to crying. It was beautiful. Now, where are you living that McDonald's is out of Happy Meals? Come on now. Nobody believes this. This is just prime r slash that happened. And I think the trashiest part of this post is making up this story and thinking that anyone would be proud of you for making it up. Just stop. Just stop. <laughs> this sign is just, it's just bad. It's just bad. Liberty Guns, Beer and Trump, I'm assuming is what they're making it stand for. It's not Liberty if you're attacking a whole demographic of people though, is it? The point of Liberty is freedom for everyone to be what they want. And if you're trying to take that away from gay people, trans people, and anyone else that comes into LGBT, then you really can't argue that you're all about Liberty, can you? This one's just... <laughs> Ex excuse me, ma'am. Uh, we don't allow pets in the store. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's this car, which, I mean, they covered this car in garbage. When you put that much stuff on your car, it's got that much trash coating your entire car that took a lot of work to put there, and you can't bother to replace a flat tire. Come on now, what message are you trying to get across here? <laughs> Finally gave my fingernails the chop, and now I'm selling the clippings. Only $25 to have all of these little pieces of me. You should be so lucky. I want someone to purchase these and upon receiving them, send me a video of you eating them. Who's game? No one. Please, no one. Please tell me that no one is endorsing this. Please. Please tell me no one is endorsing that. Oh, people probably are. That's the worst. Here we have this dude hoarding all of these weights. You know, bro, you don't get this jacked without lifting at least one of every weight, bruh. <laughs> these muscles come from all of the weights, not just the big ones. <laughs> it's dumb. That's just stupid. ISO. Look, that- sorry, what does ISO stand for if you're not talking about cameras? Looking for anyone who can make this on a shirt or car decals. COVID-19 is not killing people. Weak immune systems and bad doctors are. The tests are rigged. The death count is false. Masks are useless. Hand sanitizer is toxic. Vaccines are poison. The government and news media are lying. The double standards of people like this really bother me, right? So hand sanitizer is toxic and vaccines are poison. You just know that this person probably drinks alcohol and smokes. And they're also one of those people that do the government and news media are lying, right? They, they talk about that stuff. And they're probably really on board with Trump and like, yeah, Trump, we're with you. Look, screw that fake news. It's like Trump is part of the fake news. If you think the government and news media are lying, then Trump is part of that. He's in on that lie. You can't have it both ways. As if my sex life with my husband, I'm doing the wrong voice. You know what? I'm going to carry on with it. Needed complications. Just got a positive for chlamydia and I'm pregnant. Thing is, he won't get his test results back until a few weeks from now, and I'm already on treatment. Back to using condoms, which I hate. We've never really used condoms, which is an obvious statement, I know. Just when we first tried them, he couldn't come with it, so I was like, fuck it. So two and a half years later, here we are. I keep asking to have sex. I know he isn't excited by the thought. Maybe it'll be better now that he is used to how I feel. I'm just worried he won't- this is so long. He won't want me for this next few weeks during treatment. He hardly does anyways, to be honest. And I'm sort of at a breaking point, and then this happens. Now he has an excuse. Yesterday he was like, maybe we should wait. The doctor told me it was perfectly fine as long as we use protection, which is what I told him. It's just been a hectic couple of days. Why are you posting this publicly on Facebook? No one needs this information. Where did the chlamydia come from? That, I mean, either you or your husband was doing something there 
for that to happen because it doesn't just materialize. But this didn't need to be on your public Facebook. No one needed to know this information. You could have, you could have just written me and my husband are having some issues and you could have ended it there. You wouldn't be oversharing. You would be expressing why you might be in a bad mood or why you might not be on social media for a while. And it would have been much easier than just writing out this whole paragraph of stuff that nobody needed to hear. <laughs> The baby changing station is for babies only. Show some respect. Again, I really, I don't think I want to know how this sign came about, why this sign needed to be made, what adults were using a baby changing station to change themselves or do something else, or I don't know, and I don't think I want to know. And that's where I'm gonna end the video, guys. So thank you very much for watching. If you want to support me, you can hit that join button down below, or you can join my Patreon which is in the description. I'm also live over on Twitch every Thursday and Saturday. I don't know what are we playing. Apex maybe, The Witcher maybe, Monster Hunter maybe, who knows? Go check it out. It's pretty fun. Other than that, I hope you've enjoyed this video guys and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.